Hello and welcome to GED Mathematics Live at Pulse. In this video, we will be talking about polynomials. How to evaluate an expression, combining like terms, and adding and subtracting polynomials. Let's start with evaluating expressions. Evaluate an expression means to find its value if the variables were replaced with numbers. For linear and polynomial expressions, this means carefully applying the order of operations. With rational expressions, you follow the same order of operations, but there can be some extra consideration when giving a final answer. Let's try an example. Evaluate the expression 3x cubed plus 5x squared minus 10 for x is equal to 2. To evaluate the expression, let us simply replace each x and term with a 2. And then compute. Be sure to follow the order of operation. So we start with the uh, with the exponent, and then uh, multiplication, then addition and subtraction, and the final answer is, is equals to 34. Let's try another example. Evaluate the expression 3 times x squared plus 2 to the power of 2 for x is equals to negative 1. Again, replace x by the given value, which is negative 1. And then follow the order of operation, starting with exponents. And then uh, multiplication. And the final answer is, is equals to 27. Now, when working with rational expression, remember that in mathematics, division by zero is said to be undefined. Any number that makes the denominator of a rational expression zero makes the whole expression undefined. Let's try another example. Evaluate the expression x squared minus five divided by x for x is equals to 4. So again, replace x by the given value, which is 4. We have four to the power of 2 minus 5 over 4, and then 16 minus 5 over 4. The answer is, 11 over 4. In algebra, the final answer is almost always left as a simplified fraction, even if it is an improper fraction. Let's try another example of evaluating expression. Evaluate the expression x minus 5 all over x plus 5 for x is equals to negative 5. Replacing each x with negative 5 yields the numerical expressions negative 5 minus 5 all over negative 5 plus 5, which is equals to negative 10 over 0, which makes uh, the answer undefined. So the final answer here would be the expression is undefined when x is equal to negative 5. The reason is because it has a denominator of 0. Let's proceed to combining like terms. In algebra, like terms are terms that have the same variable and the same exponent because plain numbers do not include 
any variable. They are always considered like terms. Look at the, some of the expressions on the screen. Okay, the first set, uh, they are considered like terms because each term has a variable of x and an exponent of, of 1. The second group, 8y squared, y squared, and negative 2y squared, they are also like terms because each term has a variable of y and an exponent of, of 2. So, in short, what makes it like terms depends on, on the variables and exponent. Like terms can be combined by adding their coefficient. This process is often part of finding the final answer to a problem. Answer to many algebra problems must be simplified, and an algebraic expression is considered simplified when there are no remaining parentheses and all of the like terms have been combined. Let's try an example. Simplify the expression 3x squared minus 4x plus 2x squared minus 1. Now, looking at the expression, we can see that 3x squared and 2x squared are like terms. So, in these expressions, we can combine 3x squared and 2x squared by adding the coefficients 3 and 2. So, we have 5x squared minus 4x minus 1. And here, there are no other like terms. So once these are combined, the expression is completely simplified. Okay, let's try another example. Simplify the expression 2w minus 6w plus, plus w. There are three like terms in this expression. Remember that a variable without a coefficient has a default coefficient of 1. The coefficient of the final answer is found by adding the, the coefficients of the like terms. So we can, we can add the coefficients 2 minus 6 plus 1. So we have negative 3 W as the final answer. Another example is simplify the expression 5x minus 6 times the sum of x plus 2. Now, in some cases, you will need... And now, let's continue with adding and subtracting polynomials. Combining two polynomials by either adding them or subtracting them is actually just a form of combining like terms. However, when subtracting polynomials, just remember to distribute the negative. Okay, let's look at some examples. Find the sum of x squared plus 2x minus 5 and 9x squared minus 6x plus 1. First, Write both polynomials with a plus symbol between them. And then, combine like terms to find the answer. So here we can combine x squared plus 9x squared, which is uh, 10x squared. Then we can also combine 2x and negative 6x, which is a negative 4x. And we can also combine negative 5 and positive 1, which is negative 4. So the answer is 10x squared minus 4x minus 4. Notice that it doesn't matter if the like terms are not next to each other. For example, uh, x squared 
and 9x squared, and also 2x and negative 6x, and negative 5 and 1. They can still be combined, even though there are two terms between them. Another example, find the difference of x to the fourth power plus x squared minus 1 and 6 minus x to the fourth power plus 3x squared. Find the difference means subtract. Okay, to set up a subtraction problem with two polynomials, first is write the first polynomial as it is. And then write the second polynomial in parentheses with a negative in front. Next, distribute the negative to every term inside the parentheses. And then uh, finally, combine like terms. And remember the, the rules you have learned in subtracting sign number. So the final answer is 2x to the 4 power minus 2x squared minus 7. When the negative is distributed to the terms inside the parentheses, the sign for every one of those terms changes. Let's study another example to see how this works. Find 16y minus 2 minus 18y plus 16 minus y squared. In this subtraction problem, the parentheses around 16y minus 2 can be, can be dropped because there is nothing in front of them. However, the parentheses around 18y plus 16 minus y squared cannot be dropped until the negative in front of them is distributed. So we have negative 18y minus 16, then negative and negative y squared becomes positive y squared. And now, combining like terms, we have 18, 8, negative 18y and 16y becomes negative 2y. Then negative 16 and negative 2 becomes negative 18. And then uh, y squared. So the final answer is negative 2y minus 18 plus y squared as the final answer. Another example is find 3x squared minus x plus 4x plus x squared. You know, when two polynomials are added, both sets of parentheses can be dropped in the first step. So we can drop it on the first steps and we have 3x squared minus x plus 4x plus x squared. And then proceed with uh, combining like terms. We have 4x squared plus 3x. Now, on the GED test, problems asking you to add or subtract polynomial are sometimes written using words like sum or difference. And other times are written using parentheses as in the last two examples. Either way, the solution steps are the same. Okay, that's the end of this video. If you have any question or you did not understand part of the presentation, you can comment below. If you want to know more about Phuket Pulse, you can visit www.phuketpulse.org or you can contact us through our Facebook or 
call us on 081-417-0978.